Hello, welcome to this video. My name is David Thorne. Um, in this video, we're going to be learning about how to um, download images asynchronously um, without blocking the main thread using Xcode and uh, Swift 4.2. Um, yeah, so let's get started, shall we? Um, I'm sure um, if you're new and a beginner to, to Swift and iOS development and so on, you're going to have to at one point learn how to download an image. Now there's many, many ways of doing it, lots of them incorrectly. So what I've set up is a, a small project already, um, which is essentially going to um, download a, a large image from Google when we press this button. And once it's downloaded, it's going to display here. There's a counter that's here, which is going to be ticking all the time. All right. And uh, the aim of this is uh, in the beginning to block this counter. All right. To show you how not to do it. And then we're going to show you how to do it. All right. The, the way I'm going to show you in the beginning is definitely the way you should never do it. And I'm guessing that at one point you're probably going to find out that you do it this way. All right. Because someone's going to inform you badly. So um, let's have a look at the, the code quickly. So I've got a download URL of an image on Wikipedia or Wikimedia or whatever. And uh, this is the URL that we're going to use. It's a 10 plus uh, megabyte image. And we've got our view controller and we've got um, the label, which is then the, the counter label at the bottom here. And then we've got um, the download button here. And then we've got the image containers, the actual image view. And, um, and then we have a dispatch queue, all right? And we also have a counter, a, a number. The dispatch queue is the thing that's going to do um, a task in the background in order to um, display the number. Um, okay, so, but what, what we potentially want to be doing is, uh, because at the moment, I'll just explain this. This is saying do count when view did load. And this is going on, on to a, a background thread, right? So we're not working on the main thread. And it's going to sleep for 500 milliseconds. It's going to increment the number, and then it's going to up down the counter text. And this is done asynchronously. So this shouldn't block the main thread, all right? But if we take it off of the background thread, and if you have a look now, uh, when I start it, you'll notice that it will just spin, and the number will go up, all right? And the number will go up, as you can see. Now, if I take this out of the um, the uh, the dispatch queue and run it again, you'll see what the difference is. Okay, it's it's actually finding it difficult to show the show the screen because this is blocking. This is blocking the main thread, all right? So this is not a, a clever way to do it, first of all. And so we now want a background thread which is not going to block the main thread. But we want to make sure that this doesn't get blocked, blocked here. So um, what we want to do first of all is get the um, image container. All right, let's stop this. And say image. And this is definitely the way of not doing it, all right? So um, an image view uh, needs a data, okay? And we can get data and we can load this data from, um, from contents of a URL, okay? And we're going to say download URL here. And this, this is um, throws, but we're just going to use this terrible uh, try exclamation mark because we know it's going to be all right. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to say UI image. And this is then going to be from data as well. All right. So we're going to do an even worse thing and do this. All right. So let's run it again and see what we get. As you can see, it's lagging still. But the image is there, right? But it didn't come until it said like 4,000 or something. So it, it took it took a couple of seconds to do. Let's just get rid of it and run it again and see how quickly the, the image downloader image shows. 
Okay, the screen showed pretty quickly and the number is at zero, okay? So just to run this again, and just to show you, we want to see the number is zero. But we don't, it's already, that was at 3000 then already. Okay, so the question is how can we put this now on um, to stop blocking that number, right? Well, what we could do is we could put it as an asynchronous call on the main thread. This is still not a good idea, but let's run it again and see whether we get to see this number actually being zero this time. Okay, we got zero. And what's happened? We blocked the main thread. Okay, even though this was this was happening asynchronously, it still blocked the main thread, and the counter didn't start until this image was displayed. If we run it again, and you'll you'll see what happened. See, counter zero, image is there, and now it's running. All right, but this was running still, but because we were blocking the main thread. Now let's create a queue number two, for example, and we'll say background two. And now this is a background thread. So rather than saying dispatch here, we'll say Q one, and this time we'll say async here. And once it's done, um, once we've got the image, once we've got the image downloaded, this time now we'll say, this is still not the way to do it, all right? And now we'll, we'll say here equals the image, all right? This is it's not the correct way to do it, but it's an okay way. As you can see, it still downloads correctly and it shows. So we're not blocking the main thread anymore. So you've got a thumbs up for that. But um, you don't really have any... Um, you don't have any way of checking whether it was all okay. So if we, yeah, this this way works, but it's not the correct way, all right? So let's uh, comment this out, and let's continue on even further, all right? So how can we do this? Well, there's URL session, which we can use in order to download asynchronously. And we can just say here, a URL session, and you've got data here, data task with URL, with a completion, all right? Well, we've got the URL and we just say download, uh, oh, not the download button, we've got download URL, okay? And this then has a, um, a data here and a response and an error, okay? Now, what's, what's important for us is that we know that we're doing an HTTP request. So we want to have like HTTP response and we can, we can um, cast this um, as an HTTP URL response, all right? And if it's not, which it is, then we can, um, something went wrong here because we know that it's a HTTP URL response, all right? Now that we have this, we can then say with the response, we can say the status code and we want to know that the status code is 200. And if it's not, then we'll, well, once again, we'll throw an error, right, just because, um, 200 response provided, right? It will either be 404, 401, 500 and something, well, we only want to have 200. So now we have this data here, okay? Now we want to have, if image data is equal to data, to actually check that it is data, and if it's not, we're going to throw a problem here saying not image data. But at least we have proper data now, right? And now we're going to say image equals UI image. And this is then going to say image data. So now we're trying to load the um, image, UI image from it. And we can fatal error this as well and say not valid image data, right? So now, now we have the image that we need. So now all we've, got, all we've got to do is run it on the main thread, right? Because we've done all the hard work. And so now all we've got to do is to say image container 
dot image equals image and we're done basically right but the um, schoolboy error on this is that most people will run this and think why isn't it working okay well if we compile it and we run it and you'll see uh, I'll show you in a second why it won't be working and we put a breakpoint here as well get the simulator running and you see the only place that it will stop is here and we keep going and the number will just run and run and run there's not going to be any image showing today or even next week all right this is never going to be downloaded because URL the, the data task it returns a URL data task right and if you look at the the documentation you see that um, you have to start it all right I'm just not gonna bother look at the documentation I'll just tell you that you've got to start it and you've got to say here resume okay and once you say resume then it, it will trigger this one event and you know that your the, the data will be downloaded now. And as you see, it landed in the um, breakpoint, right? We've got, so just to debug this, we've got an HTTP response and we've got um, to output it here. And we can see that we've got 200, all right? So we've got data, we've got image, and now we're just updating the image. And there it is, bang, done. All right, so this, this is essentially how you, download, um, how you download an image. And there's, there's a lot more to do with URL session um, that you can do. Um, but, so let's now put this here inside of our download here right and once it's been downloaded so we'll, we'll disable the button and once it's once we've got a response back we'll um, once we're happy then we'll disable uh, the download button or we'll we'll enable it once again I'm sorry is enabled so now we'll start it up again, and this time we've actually got it triggered with a button. Tap. Okay, so the time is going, we're all happy, and we can press the button. The button doesn't work anymore, but if you saw there's a flicker, flicker here of the time. So something is getting blocked very, very slightly. So yeah, the time the time stopped very very slightly but that was probably because um, it had to fight between it had to fight between this and this to to update so hmm yeah well anyway you you're not really going to be um, updating stuff like that all the time yeah it did it did stop it uh, I'm just trying to have a think about why why this is stopping it and how we could avoid it. Um, I actually don't know right now, but I am going to research it. Anyway, um, this showed you how, how to download um, images, right? Please do not use um, this method, all right? This is not the correct method. If This is not the correct method. If you've got to download stuff through HTTP, all right, then use URL session. Um, okay, you can also there's I can do other videos about URL session, but in this scenario, it's just telling you how to download images. Um, URL session is already an asynchronous task, so you know that you don't have to put it on any background threads because it already is on background threads. And this, if we run it again, you'll notice that uh, well, we can have a look at what thread it's on, so you can see. So once we run the download, it'll stop and you see that it was called on, on thread nine, all right? So this is not on the main thread. So um, to, in order to update the image, you've got to go back onto the main, um, the main thread, all right? Uh, yeah, that's it. Right, I'm gonna leave it there because um, it was essentially enough for you to, to work out how to do it. Um, 
the the link for this project's in the description so if you want to look through this code then um, just look at the image downloader project inside of the the xcode projects repository and then you can go through this code <clears throat> thank you very much for watching if you do have any questions or um, please write them in the comments below if you liked it press the like button if you don't then press the dislike button but please better to write a comment um, so as I can enhance the video, do something different, um, and so on. If you wanted to subscribe, I'm going to be doing lots of videos uh, about um, Swift development and so on. So I'm a professional Swift developer. So if you do have any technical questions about what uh, about how you can do your app and so on, please do not hesitate to ask, and I'll try and make a video um, for you. All right, that's it. I wish you a nice evening, and uh, goodbye.